Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're looking at Fluxy. Now, Fluxy is a 2.5D fluid simulator for Unity. Uh, the reason why we're covering it today is, first off, this is the next most requested asset, and it is part of the Mega Lunar New Year Mega Bundle going on right now. If you did not know, there are two bundles happening right now on the Unity Asset Store, the Daring Bundle and the Roaring Bundle. Now, the one we're interested in today is the Daring Bundle. Uh, there's four days left in this guy, by the way, if you're interested in picking it up. And what we're checking out today is Fluxy a 2.5D fluid simulator. As you can see, it is part of the $30 tier and it is $40 itself. So it's a no-brainer to pick this one up. Uh, it's the same price as the entire bundle and you're getting everything else for free, basically. I also checked out Maggio in the past if you're interested in learning more. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for the Daring Bundle. I'm going to probably look at the Roaring Bundle next, one or two items before uh, this ends anyways. But today, again, we are looking at Fluxy. It's a 2.5D fluid simulator. Entire idea behind this GPU, grid-based, 2.5D, lightweight, fast, robust, easy to use. And now let's go check it out. And you can see it in action right here. we got four different fluid sources going on in one container. Again, it is grid-based. So the fluid simulation is happening in this container object right here. So you can see on the outside edge, we've got this grid that is holding everything in. I'll show you how to go ahead and create these things. It's super, super easy. And you see here we have four different um, targets, basically jets of uh, fluid that are interacting as part of the simulation. As you can see, you can have multiple simulations running at the same time. The entire premise behind these is that these are lightweight and quick and easy to work with. So you see here we're looking at the uh, pink purplish one right now. So let's go ahead and switch that to black, and then you can see the immediate ramifications of doing so. Let's switch over to a, a dark blue, and so on. So if you want to do like uh, paint simulations, you can use this to create uh, fluid type smoke effects and so on. Uh, it is ultimately um, 2D based, but you can set it up so that it aligns automatically uh, with the contain with the. Um, I could go right here, and basically we can drag in our camera. And then it'll always align with the camera, so things will, will look perfect in the end. So it works out great that way. What you're looking at right now is a standard pipeline example. This here is a ERP, or Universal Render Pipeline Project as well. Um, they're set up almost identical, but there's one major difference with ERP. We'll get to that in a second. Also, I'll show you another example of Fluxy in action here. And this is a more typical use. You want to create water, and you've got this character that is interacting with the water that we are currently in, pretty straightforward on the whole. You can see how this is set up as well. Once again, uh, you have the container here. This is what holds the water in the world. You can see that's this guy right here. Um, it uses a solver, which is created automatically when you create a container. So this is the water. You can set all the various different properties for the water right here. And then the other major thing you're gonna notice in here is it's using a shader here, an ERP shader in this particular case. So you come here, you go to Fluxy, you go to Resources, uh, Shaders, Rendering. You can see here there's a basic fluid shader. This is for the standard render pipeline. But you've also got, let's go back here to Fluxy, and we will go to Samples. You're going to see here we've got some ERP samples right there. We'll go to um, the shaders for that, ERP. And then you're going to notice here, you've actually got um, shader, uh, visual shader graph shaders here. So you can create your shaders for handling your water uh, using the shader graph if you're using the, the ERP. Otherwise, uh, there are provided shaders in traditional shader format if you go back to the standard pipeline. And there's a ton of examples here. So if you want to come in here, here is an infinite swimming pool example using the standard render pipeline. Again, it is a very straightforward setup. So you see you've got uh, the interaction of the character when they are um, running into the water source. You're going to see that right there. We'll look at Guy right here. And you can see attached to Guy is a Fluxy character script. And then you've got the properties that will uh, interact with there as well. Uh, and then we've also got, so again, your, your container right here. Now I'm going to showcase how easy it is to actually go ahead and create your own setup. So I'm going to go in here, New, Scene, like so. Uh, we're going to do Basic Built-in Scene. So now you just come in, basically go create a new object, 3D object of type Fluxy, and you're gonna have to create a container and a target. A container, again, is just the grid in which the thing ultimately renders. Now I'm gonna actually create the target as being the container as well. Uh, you can have multiple targets. We saw those four different jets. Those are kind of the, think of these as the actual water simulations. So the container is where the water simulations will be rendered to. Uh, 
but the target is the actual simulation itself. So there you go, we've now created um, a sim here. So now let's just go ahead, uh, we'll move our camera much closer. Like so, so we've properly framed, okay, that might be a little too close. So we framed our object, and what you get immediately is this torch-like effect. So you can see there are the fluids coming out of our um, results. So we can come in here to the target, for example. I can just go ahead and switch that out, and there you see. So that is how easy it is to create these fluid simulations. And then when you start moving things around in the world, they will respond accordingly. You can have multiple fluid simulations together in the same environment. You do have shaders for handling things like, again, if we go back to one of these examples, let's go here, we'll look at rain. Don't save. This is showcasing uh, using more like water on a surface. So here you can see you've got, yeah, I'm zoomed in a bit. Let me just zoom that out so I have access to my UI. You've got kind of the, um, the container again, and on that container, uh, you've got water being rendered as drip. So you've got multiple different uh, renderers available there as well. Uh, is it part of here? So here you can see, you've got the basic fluid uh, shader being used here. So you can see here, Fluxy rendering. So we've got basic fluid, we could also do pressure waves, which aren't gonna make much sense in this particular environment, but you've got different setups, or of course you could create your own shader for how your own water is going to work in the world. Let's go back to the basic fluid. And then again, you've got control over, uh, so this, the raindrops are being implemented as a target. So that's how the rain is being added into the scene. And we can add more at runtime. So obviously you could control the various different values here uh, at runtime uh, for the environment here. So let's speed up our wiper. And so you can see there's the interaction with the objects in the world. And then if you're wondering, how is that wiper actually working? Well, that is here. And you see it, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, I thought there was something applied to it. I guess there's literally not. It just um, is figuring it out in the scene for you. Um, so that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, so it's being done with this script right down here. Um, so that is kind of fluxy in a nutshell. Uh, you can use it, again, for doing particles type effects. So if you wanted to use it to make uh, fire, uh, you can also use it. So it's not necessarily confined to fluids particularly. Uh, the idea behind this, though, is it's not a full 3D particle system type scenario. It's not a really in-depth um, simulation here. It is ultimately a 2D grid that is being output. And in this particular case, the results are being aligned with the camera so that it always looks uh, 3D. But the key thing there is it's lightweight. So if you need to have it in there, but you don't want to use up a whole ton of GPU on doing a fluid simulation, that's where this guy could really shine. Again, standard render pipeline and the universal render pipeline are supported. Uh, you can learn a little bit more but Fluxy uh, on their page, but again, it's generally 40 bucks. And if we go back here to the, uh, well, which one was this again? The Daring Bundle, uh, the entire bundle itself is 40 bucks. So it boils down to, it, you can get it at full price right now and get another uh, 15 or so assets uh, for more or less free if you're interested. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Fluxy, a 2.5D fluid simulator. Uh, it's got four examples uh, on the ERP um, side. Oh, I should show you that one. It's actually kind of cool. Um, so there's one here for um, painting on surfaces. So you get an idea of what else it is capable of. Uh, wall paint, this guy right here. Let's open that up. So here we see, let's go ahead, check that out, run it in action. So you can see, even though it's two and a half D, it can interact with a 3D scene. So when I click, we're gonna paint, and then you can see how it's bleeding and drawing over the scene. Here's another one. So we have two sets of solvers, one for each uh, environment that it's working on. But as you can see, even though it is 2D, it works, or 2.5D, uh, it works just fine in a full 3D scene. And you can get an idea of the capabilities of this guy in action uh, from this demo as well. And again, this is a universal render pipeline demo. Um, so it works with both of those pipelines. I'm not sure about the HDRP. Um, I think it actually says there's pipeline support, but there's no actual uh, examples here. So uh, let me just do a quick search for HDRP. Okay, it's found it, but I don't know where, okay. Great search, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, not sure where it's finding that on this page. So here we go. 
Not a fluid renderer, basic unlit shader compatible with all standard render. Okay, so there you go. So it's compat compatible with all the script or render pipelines, uh, but the examples are ERP and standard pipeline only. Uh, so you're gonna have to do a little bit extra work if you're working on the um, HDRP side of things, but it should be supported. So that's it, uh, Fluxy uh, a two and a half D fluid simulator. Let me know what you think, comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.